Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie's kids have picked sides, and it looks like Team Jolie is winning. Jolie Pitt offspring Shiloh, Zahara, and Vivian have all ditched the Pitt part of their last name and are going by Jolie now. Naturally, everyone's buzzing about what this means for their relationship with Brad. Does he deserve this? And is Angelina influencing them? In the past, you described Brad often as a wonderful father, of course, as part of the family. Do you still believe that? Of course, of course. Apparently, things have been rocky for a while. The kids have had a hard time forgiving and connecting with Brad since the divorce. And we are a family, and we will always be a family. And we will get through this time and, and hopefully be a stronger family for it. Earlier this year, Shiloh turned 18 and filed to have Pitt legally removed from her last name. There's even a video of Zahara introducing herself with her sorority name as Zahara Marley Jolie. And get this, Vivian's name was listed as Vivian Jolie in the play The Outsiders, where she's a producer alongside her mom. Looks like the Jolie name is taking center stage. From what US Weekly says, Brad is devastated by this. One source said, to him, it was more than a name change. It was a symbol of a deeper estrangement that's been brewing for years. How heartbreaking, right? I mean, we all carry, I think, um, great pains, great regrets. Um, um, we've all experienced loss. Um, we've all um, experienced great loneliness at times. An insider shared that Brad was blindsided by Shiloh dropping his last name, but he wasn't surprised. He feels that Angie has slowly but surely turned their kids against him. She absolutely influenced their decisions to distance themselves from their dad. Talk about drama. <laughs> Brad feels like Angelina had a hand in this whole thing. He turned my own kids against me. The insider added, Shiloh didn't give her dad a heads up about her decision. He's absolutely heartbroken because he was closest to Shiloh. He thought they were on solid ground. We all fell in love with the video of Shiloh dancing. Yeah, yeah. Bro! I know, me too. That girl is bad! Yeah, it brings a tear to the eye. Here's where it gets really weird. Not too long ago, there were reports that Shiloh wanted to move in with her dad. A source claimed she was planning to move into Brad's mansion in Los Feliz, California soon. Why such a drastic change of heart? And it's not just Shiloh, Zahara, and Vivian. Word on the street is that Brad's relationships with Maddox and Pax are pretty much non-existent. Family drama at its peak. While the other kids have stayed silent on this matter, Pax let off some serious steam in an infamous Instagram post on Father's Day 2020. And this came right on the heels of Brad's Oscar acceptance speech, where he declared his love for his children. This is for my kids who color everything I do. I adore you. Pax didn't hold back calling his dad a world-class asshole. That's certainly one extreme way to air dirty laundry. What'd you say? And as if that wasn't enough, Pax continued, you have no consideration or empathy toward your four youngest children who tremble in fear when in your presence. You have made the lives of those closest to me a constant hell. You may tell yourself and the world whatever you want, but the truth will come to light someday. He wrapped up with a bang. So, happy Father's Day, you f***ing awful human being. A source described this rant as unusual, since Pax never says much about his parents on his profile. Guess he had a lot to get off his chest that day. Don't forget what sparked it all. Yeah, that notorious scene on the plane. Back in 2016, there was an incident on a private jet that set off a chain of events leading to the Brangelina divorce. You can absolutely madly love the same person you want to kill. <laughs> Apparently, Brad was drunk, and there was a heated argument between him and Angelina. Things got messy when their eldest son, Maddox, stepped in, and the argument escalated more than it should have. Jolie, who was married to Pitt for two years, filed for divorce days after this alleged physical altercation between Brad and Maddox, who was 15 at the time. Following an FBI investigation into child abuse allegations, Pitt was cleared of all charges. However, the details of what happened on that private plane were later leaked to the press. We are focusing on the health of our family. And so, and so we will be, we will be stronger. 
when we come out of this because that's what we're determined to do as a family. Based on the documents, Angelina told investigators that Brad's actions during the flight from France to Los Angeles frightened their children, who were aged between 8 and 15 at the time. And I guess you, you go through a certain point of pain or loss and you just, you, you either go down or you get back up. She claimed that Pitt lunged at one of the kids after they called him a prick, and she had to hold him back in a chokehold. Sounds crazy. Come on. Please don't. Do it. Stop! Well, it gets even worse. Pitt allegedly told Jolie that one of the children looked like a Columbine kid, referring to the 1999 Columbine High School massacre. Seriously, can you believe this? Yeah, sorry about that. But let's rewind a bit. Before all the legal wrangling, Brad and Angelina's romance started with their explosive on-screen chemistry on the set of Mr. and Mrs. Smith back in 2004. This ignited the love triangle rumors, with Brad initially married to Jennifer Aniston. Who could forget the Team Jen versus Team Angelina hype? Yeah, it was a pop culture storm. I think it's the time people stop with that petty BS and just start, start celebrating great work. Fast forward to their whirlwind romance, a rainbow family with six kids, and even a lavish wedding at their French estate. He's like, every three months I'll say, honey, I think I should learn how to cook. Uh, don't I? Yeah, and yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I just humor it, but really, she, <laughs> she has no business in the kitchen. <laughs> Yet, behind closed doors, things soured. Soon, allegations of abuse surfaced, legal battles ensued, and suddenly it all turned into a battlefield. And remember the vineyard drama? It started when Angelina made headlines for allegedly selling her stake in Miraval to a Luxembourg-based company linked to Russian billionaire Yuri Scheffler, all without Brad's knowledge or consent. Brad, not one to let things slide, fired back with a lawsuit, claiming Angelina's move was a deliberate attempt to sabotage him financially. He argued that they had an agreement to jointly manage their interests in the vineyard, and her actions were a breach of trust. You know about love, about, I would say, trust. Um, um, trust in the person you love, trust in your intuition. The War of the Roses was on. Courtroom drama unfolded like a gripping Hollywood script. Brad's legal team accused Angelina of trying to silence him with an NDA related to the vineyard sale, allegedly to prevent her from discussing their turbulent history in public. Meanwhile, Angelina's camp countered with claims that Brad had mismanaged Miraval's funds on vanity projects, like lavish pool renovations and a recording studio, rather than focusing on winemaking. Billy, I need more money. Angelina, always one to speak her mind, made headlines alleging abuse and pushing for her side of the story in court. Meanwhile, Brad tried to keep a low profile, focusing on his sobriety and new creative projects. I got sober because of this guy, and every day has been happier ever since. Still, the conflict raged on. Angelina certainly didn't just sip rosé during this divorce. She made bank. Splitting from Brad wasn't just about emotional closure. It was also a financial windfall. She reportedly earned a pretty penny, including a cool $9.7 million from auctioning off a Winston Churchill painting gifted by Brad. This woman knows how to make money. No, well, I'm quite responsible about money. That could put me off. So, is Brad Pitt keeping in touch with all his kids these days? Well, it's a mixed bag. While he's reportedly rebuilt his bond with Knox and Vivian, it seems Pax, Maddox, and Zahara, the adopted trio, aren't currently in contact with him. Congratulations on Zahar getting on to Spelman. My sister went to Spelman. Oh, wow. I know it's, a, like, yeah. it's a special place to me. Oh, like, she's going to have such a, a beautiful yeah, time. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Reportedly, Brad makes it a priority to spend time with the younger three, seeing them once or twice a week when he's around. He's all about cherishing those moments. What do I have to offer that's better than I had to, to my kids? As for the others, well, Brad's holding out hope for some future peace. What makes you guys so strong? I think six kids make you strong. Well, what do you think? Is Brad truly a terrible dad, or is Angelina steering the kids away from their father? Drop your thoughts below.